Yeah, for those of you who've asked how we sort of record and document our process on clearing Japanese knotweed, we use some time-lapse cameras. We use several in clients' gardens. These ones, Dazoon ones, they are actually bought from uh, Amazon. They're time-lapse, so you can set them. They're quite easy to uh, set by all any stretch of the imagination. 110 10, uh, degree uh, camera, they've got an LED built on it as well, so that you do the night time if you so wish. Um, you can set time, how long you want them to be, you know, a couple of hours or a couple of months. We have another one set up here purposely to record for the client's activity, so we can see the invasion of this Japanese knotweed from one side of the boundary to the next because we've taken out the fence, obviously it fell down, uh, this was so aggressive or invasive if you want for a better word uh, you can see the nature of it we are now may probably six weeks in for it growing and it's already about 10 foot high you can see the circumference if i grab that put my hands around there probably around about 20 25 mil there comfortably and it's still growing you can see the youth of the leaves here it's going to be a while before this actually gets to the size it needs to be so recording this gives you an idea of how it's developing also where it's originating from so should there be any sort of legal concerns we can obviously go back and say well it clearly originated on this property and then moved over onto this property and we've got visual proof for that over the last couple of months um, hopefully it shouldn't be the case but it's always nice to be prepared so yeah, these cameras are what we use, and we use a handful of these. They're pretty reasonable to buy, and easy to set up too. And then once you set them up, you can just leave them be, and they will run for many months, recording all the, the growth of these invasive plants.